Team Secret lineup is overall better because they have pretty much of everything. I think if Alliance uh, doesn't uh, do well in early game, the Team Secret will just uh, snowball on them. They, they, Alliance needs to win their lanes and uh, get some advantage in kills early on. These are the heroes that not doesn't scale so good. Uh, Leshrac and Skyrat Mage, they, they don't scale so good through mid game. They don't have farm potential. Yeah, and you look at the lineup of Seeker, and it's all about being able to either a take team fights in that mid game, which means that they're going to be able to stand up at least a little bit to what Alliance are doing, or b make plays for pushing out waves continuously by throwing out spams from Illuminate and awful. They oh, are gonna. They found Lesh. Oh, well, over there. Level He's two gonna end up being in trouble. Be enough to get a first blood. Oh, stun from Loda. Ah, he's still gonna end up going down. Pilot I finds it with the last right click. Uh, usually, Puppy played the uh, position four silencer that was moving around the map, getting some uh, easy int. But oh, this, Loda, this game. Oh. Bottom lane. They have a jump forward from Pilei Die, trying to show it. And he ends up dying, but they are going to be able to find the kill on the load. I believe Good yeah, he does end up from going down. Onus now also in some trouble. They have the silence on the mid one, trying to run out and away. They have level six on Axe as well. EGM, they get the stun. That's going to be the kill. So two down for Secret in exchange for Loda. That health region aura, which Sven lacks. Something to be able to stand oh. on the lane. But overall, I think uh, this is the Top lane. Best, best choice right now. Jonas, puppies here as well. They're bringing in mid one. And, well, every damn person, a secret is going to be able to kill off that axe. All right, first intelligence stolen. They're setting up on Jonas down here, or rather on the tower. They don't realize that he's in the area. But the smoke gank into the jungle, they are going to run into EGM. A quick crush and a kill. My goodness, MP 850. does a lot of damage. <laughs> Crit. Yeah. Uh, uh, Loda now also in trouble. They're going to be able to chase him down. Chains a little bit off the mark there. And now runs forward. Is going to be able to get silenced. The turnaround, though, played nice well. Kazu catches it. It's still a little bit of a better crush by Slarder as they take him down. There's the global out as well. So now they lose the Aegis mid one. Throws out the remnant. Rempy running through the player. Now he's going to end up paying for that one. Kazu has another blink crush in the second. Connects onto two. Loda's still chasing. And it looks like he is going to slow down Keizu enough. They oh, they had the frost armor. That's going to keep him alive. Yeah. So uh, I I don't know exactly what all of the mentality is like behind being a professional player in these instances, obviously. But you know, feeling the game, how the flow is going, and what you feel like you're going to need. Oh, silencer! What, what's Puppy doing? What? Just standing still. And, uh, oh, he's, he's micro-ing the creep. Oh wait, well, this is going to be a big old fight here now. Jonas left alone. He's going to be able to jump on a mid one, but the global silence comes out, so it's not going to be enough damage, and mid one should be able to escape from this one. They are jumping on top of Pilot Diloder, doing a lot of damage. The blinding light comes out, oh, keeps on him top alive. Of Limp is going to do a ton of damage, though. MP brought down Exorcism too much, so they lose Pilot Die and MP. Maybe we can see... Secret taking advantage of that. It's also daytime, so they have eyes on all of these heroes here, and MP ready to jump onto them. Daytime, as plus top lane, they're going to be able to jump onto them. Yeah, mid one in trouble. Silence is down global as well, so they're not going to be able to get the catch, but they are going in the meantime and taking down the Skyrath Mage. Not going to be able to run down Sven. They could also kill off mid one in the top lane. So a one for one exchange, sort of, and it looks like the tier two is probably not going to fall. I think that they can get in and stop this. Stun, MP taking the damage, follow-up stun, call as well, but it is going to be the dunk. Man, Lions putting it together in this one and looking quite strong. And now the Battle Hunger, they're going to cancel Kezu's blink. Jukes off to the side, okay, still have the amp damage. Call is going to connect, and, well, he's got Bash, but I think Kezu's going to be the one who falls. Really nice plays from Max right there. So much advantage during the mid-game, but they didn't know how to finish the game. And Secret punished them for that. Oh man, and this is going to be another one oh, of those big puppy, fights. Puppy's walking puppy. in. He does have global available. They're going to smoke, smoke so they can't see him. And now needs to run away. Four staff out. MP throws out a dagger. Vision for Loda. Everybody knows what's happening right now. And it looks like they are going to try and go for oh, a they've... wrap around here. They found EGM. He is gone. The rest of Alliance need to be really careful. They're backed up into a corner. And... That's what they need to do. This is what, exactly what Secret needs to do. Take out those man. supports first. Global Silence is still up. 
This is really bad for Alliance right now. They are going to be able to blink away and keep that dagger out. They need a way out of this back lane, and they're going to drop the global down. MP on top of it as well, mid one. Yeah, you'll see BKB's pop. They're just going to run back. Oh, now. and they're on top of him. That's going to be a jump on a hand skins. MP has already popped it. He's going to run out in a way, and it does look like he's going to be able to escape. So the chase could continue here. He's found Kezu, but a blinding light pushback, and now Loda out of mana. Mana leaked as well. Can't continue the chase. This is exorcism down. A great team fight from Secret. He's lift up. Still, Loda going to be Kezno contained. Mana. This is really tough for him at this stage because Pylai die, they have full vision on all of these heroes. Leshrac is respawning right now as they get the silence on the limp. Exorcism is going to wear off pretty shortly, but he's already gone. Tons of damage from MP. And now chasing down Loda as well. They caught him out. He is going to try and turn and fight, but he just can't hit MP at all. That's the Aegis down. And well, Leshrac, Scarath Mage, they're both back up right now, but Loda still in a ton of trouble. Turns, gets the stun. No avail. He is going to drop. What a play from Secret, really. Uh, just just amazing play. Because they can't kill them, they ca can't initiate on them after that. They have two four stats, all BKBs popped. Oh, <laughs> oh. an hand skin. Dropping yet again. Of course, there is no ability to take that down. The tier two still standing, and they're still looking for the fight. Uh, Loda jumps forward, has found mid one, bringing him low, and they get the silence and the dunk. Really well executed there and immediately into the exorcism as well. Alliance is looking to take high ground. Maybe try to figure out that he doesn't have money enough to buy back. Oh, EGM, he just, he wants to go home. That's all that he wants, but... Well, he's going to take the long road home as he ends up dropping there and will respawn in 54 seconds. 110, so he deals 300 damage. But that's also increased by Even his more, spell amplification. Yeah, yeah. plus um, wolf, plus wolf. It's... Oh, 400 Oda. damage per hit. Running away. Throw out the dagger. Kezu deciding that he does not indeed want to hang out there, and they're just going to blink strike away. But you can see the vision advantage, how much giving them MP gets jumped upon. Nice blinding light pushback, and well, a big call though. And the global comes out in time. BKB immediately afterwards for Jonas. They're going to be able to escape from it. So global is down, but they have already been able to take down the spin at least once. Wow. And, oh my god, MP. What a monster. And, well, there's the Atos as well, keeping the DP in one spot. They just do too much freaking damage. And Loda now gets <laughs> bashed up by Keizu. The chase continue. It is nighttime now, so less ability to see him, but... They got eyes on him. MP is just too big. Wow. The, the, their heroes die so quickly. Oh my god, are they gonna MP... find EGM? Oh, he takes the DD away from DD. him! Yeah, but they he knew where he it. was. Removes oh. it with... I like oh, that. Oh, yeah, it's all gone. Well played. Ember Spirit is all over the place. The Chinese duel from Team Secret just playing it perfectly. Probably. Oh, Pylai die. He spots the smoke being broken. He's going to be able to jump away from that one as well and spots where the wards are placed. So total vision. And the other unfortunate part about this is the Alliance aren't even going to be able to go in and take down Roshan because it's not respond yet. They spot out. Well, Jonas, there's the crush. The Pulvil Silence comes out. He pops his BKB for Loda. As Kay's just trying to run away. He is going to end up dropping there on the other side. MP takes down Hanskin, so he's gone. Oh, he's MP be able to blink strike problem away. blinking out. Oh, nice play there. Oh, and the chains again to be able to catch Loda. That was really nicely done. Slaughter is going to buy back. It looks back. like they want to try and take the fight. EGM going to drop. So Alliance, after losing two, are forced back. And now Roach is going to respawn. Yeah. Well, uh, the, the second dagger didn't hit uh, that Prophet. It hit the creep. So it might be a random. Okay. Let me check. Double stiffen dagger. They're actually moving out right now, though, and they're going to try and find MP. They realize this is not going to work long term, and they have caught MP. Nothing is oh, coming out from it, and they find nice that initiation. kill. Keizu also forced to eat the cheese and blinding light trying to push back. Jonas is going to have him in just a second. Call connects. Suddenly, Secret is in a terrible position. They've already lost PA, and she does have buyback, but you can't use it at this stage. There's no way for them to go back in. Alliance, respond. Feels like we could be in this one for the long haul. Yeah, 57 minute games, usually in 7.0 patch, the matches end a lot quicker than Ooh, this. They found EGM though. This is going to be a nice catch. Should be able to get the kill as well. Mid one just doing too much damage and... Probably just a 
Oh, they found Jonas, and they break his TP, and now he's in some trouble. They are going to be able to get one sheep off, though, and oh, MP just takes them down. DD rune, this is the time to fight, if there ever was one, and the dagger going to connect, not doing any damage, because the Ghost Scepter, obviously, there's the global going to be used. MP can blink in on top of Loda for that Abyssal Blade if he wanted to, but holding Arts off for X now. bought back. Well, the, the second dagger hits randomly. Uh, I just saw okay. it again. MP catches there. Caught for a long time on Loda. He gets stunned as well as his mana drained. He's gonna get ran down. A lot of damage coming out from the cold though in mid one. He's gonna end up almost falling for that. Oh, Axe misses his dunk, gonna unfortunately. Die. And it does look like Limp coming back in. Well, double buyback already. And MP could have controlled up and brought down. They find the kill finally. Two, Two buybacks. Down for secret. Two buybacks from Alliance. Sven plus um, Lesh. I mean, it's everybody is just so farmed in this game already. And the, the big items there, you've got double Octarine cores for Alliance, and AC is done for Kezu, a Moon Shard on Puppy. All of these guys are such heavy damage dealers. It just feels like the mobility of Secret is really hard to deal with. Still 35 seconds for Axe to respawn. There's the jump forward, mid one, onto Loda. Look at the damage from Puppy and MP, he's gone in an instant. He yeah, dies he's gonna look to try and make this happen. They can feed they cheese to him, him though. Again. Starting to bring him. Oh my god, the damage! Took him MP twice in three him. seconds. No time for cheese, no time for nothing. Limp has his ulti out, but MP is just a monster. My god, Blink that's Dagger damage. PA, new meta. And triple kill for MP. Everybody's buying back, but it is not gonna be for long as. There's the jump forward, Pylai die, they get the jump, a ton of damage coming out, they're not quite able to kill off Limp, looking forward, it is gonna end up being a cheese, well, Eden, Jonas, still alive there. The ulti comes out as well, Kezu jumping, and there's a dominating streak, it's all done. Secret, take it 2-0 over Alliance. No buybacks on uh, Axe, no buybacks on Swen this fight, and uh, the amount of damage coming from Team Secret from that PA dagger and uh, all the magic plus physical damage coming out from Ember Spirit on top of Slardar was just too much. Plus Silencer, the Silencer was just, oh my god.